back to this Korea versus China showdown here at the KGL. We're gonna go into the game two of MVP Phoenix against Vichy B Gaming. First game, Vichy Gaming just rolling over MVP with a Broodmother pick and a Slaughter. It's a Slaughter uh, Dazzle pick. Uh, pretty surprising, a uh, Slaughter pick, and uh, it's been a long time since I've seen this hero, actually, here that I used to love playing and watching. And, uh, we saw him, uh, we saw the power of a Slaughter like this, getting like this free, this much free farm against the lineup. Cannot really burst him or control him too well. And we're gonna go into the next pick band stage, and uh, it seems like uh, MVP Phoenix, they don't wanna have to deal with Ice Ice Hass's Broodmother again, and they don't wanna deal with that Viper either. So, Richie Gaming now, they have the Jakiro open to them if they want it. Uh, they have uh, that Prophet is in the pool too. Uh, we're gonna see what they decide to first pick. MVP Phoenix, they have not passed out the Wisp Bristleback, and I think this is the time they're gonna do it because they have second pick so they can get both at the same time. And uh, I'm pretty confident they're gonna go for the Wisp Bristleback now. This is their go to strategy when they need, they wanna win a game. and. Uh, I think they're gonna bust it out now. They wanna show show Vichy Gaming they're not just pushovers. They can't just uh, they're, not, they're not just gonna just come here and get like rolled over. But I uh, will have to see. They're thinking about it, considering the option probably. And uh, I can see Raisin, Heen, and uh, Marsh discussing. I think they just decided what they're gonna get. And uh, hopefully we see some waste. And yes, it is a whisp with Bristol back. It comes up as expected. In his second game, second pick. So we're gonna have to see how Vichy deals with this. We haven't seen MVP Phoenix lose ever in the KZL with it. Even when they went to Europe in Dream League to play, they also didn't lose using this uh, strategy, so. Raisin uh, doesn't look too happy, he's kind of tired, it's been a long day. And uh, we're gonna have to see, like, Skyrath is gonna get like, bullied by Bristleback pretty, pretty badly. And we'll have to see what they're gonna, usually they like to pick up something like a Dead Prophet mid uh, to complement this, uh, this, this, this pick, or maybe a PA, something along those lines, and uh, they go for the Elder Titan. It's gonna help uh, bring down the Bristleback a little bit with the Earth Splitter and uh, disrupt the fights if uh, Bristleback gets too, too much out of control. Like, uh, hey, slow down, slow down, champ, stay there. But uh, Fenri uh, FY, last game was Fenrir on the on the Skyrath Mage. Who's gonna be on it this time? Could be FY, could be Fenrir. We don't, we don't know. It doesn't really matter too much. And uh, we go for the EFY Sand King ban again. Uh, well, Vichy banning this Ember Spirit. That's actually something they've used a lot. Like uh, Wisp, Bristleback, uh, Ember. Uh, the Bristleback can make so much space for the Ember to just free farm while they're like causing havoc all over the map. Uh, they're really, really durable uh, duo gonna take to the off lane most likely like they always do and the tide hunter ban i guess the tide hunter could yeah, it might indicate that vichy would be considering a melee carry but i would not really like it too much against a bristol back because they're gonna have to deal with the wisp bristol back in the in the off lane almost certainly uh Maybe the Phoenix probably gonna look to pick up their uh, mid hero pretty soon. Either that or uh, their carry is gonna benefit from all the space uh, Bristleback is gonna be making with the uh, March and Raisin. That's the duo, the duo that I haven't lost a single game on this with this draft. I'm really excited to see how well it's gonna do against Vichy Gaming. If there is any team that's gonna be a test to this strategy, it's gonna be Vichy Gaming. And they banned the Yogur Magi that has been uh, ignored actually uh, last game. Not banned, not picked. So maybe Phoenix. With the other Titan already on Vichy Gaming sides, I don't think they're gonna 
try to go for an Agile carry. Uh, they're already squishy enough because they don't have enough HP, but when Adult Titan can also remove all their armor, most of them are gonna have a pretty hard time. And uh, I have to consider that like, uh, PA is probably an option for. Oh, they go for the Zeus. It's gonna be a support Zeus, uh, I think. Like this, that's how uh, MVP Phoenix likes to run it. It's not a Q or hero, so. And uh, Heen always plays the Zeus, and here, he, here is Heen, veteran. Been playing Dota 1 for a while. Been uh, going to WCGs a uh, while back in for Dota 1, representing Korea. Most of the time, they didn't do too well, but they're just happy to have the experience and travel for a uh, tournament. Oh, they go for the Slug then. That's gonna be a very, very aggressive MVP lineup, and they go for the Draw Ranger. I'm not sure about that pick, actually. I'm actually not sure. They could ban the Visit right now because, uh... I mean, it's pretty open from Vici, but I don't think they're gonna bother. Uh, Bristleback is pretty good against Visage. Maybe they're trying to bait it. But I don't think uh, banning Visage here is uh, the best thing to do. They should not care too much about it. Bristleback, pretty good against it. Uh, draw Ranger too, like, uh, this kind of uh, Draw Ranger drafts against a Bristleback is not as good. Obviously, you don't want to have meta heroes against uh, Bristleback. It's gonna make it even harder. But a draw against a Slark can just jump you and negate your ultimate. Same for the Bristleback, just gonna run to your face. They decide to buy the Venomancer though. And this Aura is gonna... They have, I think, they have like three range heroes. They're probably gonna pick up a last range heroes, range hero. Maybe it's gonna be a mid, mid draw. Could be possible, could be safe lane draw, which uh, is gonna help. Do you really need something that's gonna put some pressure on the, the Bristol back in the early levels? Because once you get some levels and uh, they get the bottle on the wisp, it's gonna be very, very difficult to stop. They can just dive you, and there's not much you're gonna be able to do. ROTK, you just like poison stuff, man. He just plays Viper and Venom. Like, all right, you're gonna ban Venom, man. No Viper, no Venom for you. And last pick for MVP Phoenix gonna be the Night Stalker. I really like this, actually. I really like this pick here. Night Stalker actually has been picked three times out of the five games of the um, KDL Grand Finals against Rave a, with a record of 0-3. So he didn't do the best, but I think in this case, it's, it's gonna be very good because you want heroes who can just bomb rush the Draw Ranger. And in this case, they have a Slug, they have a, they have a Night Stalker, they have a Bristleback with a potential relocate from the Wisp. This Draw Ranger is not going to have the best game, but this last pick, uh, last last pick Bane, is going to help uh, like support David the Draw Ranger and keep the Night Stalker, Slug, Bristleback away from her. Let's we'll see how it work, works out, how they're going to lane it exactly. MVP Phoenix here, Raisin, Wisp player getting ready. Black probably gonna be on that draw ranger, which he plays really, really well. So, and RTK having a good time. All right, let's go. And we're gonna jump into the game. Is loading. We're gonna get in any second. MVP Phoenix versus Vici Gaming game two. gaming so they're gonna most likely put the put black middle away from the bristle uh wish we really want her to have a decent start have the levels especially more depending on levels than farm obviously farm she can use farm pretty well but levels is, is the number one thing you want to have on a, on your draw ranger and uh raisin and march moving up top Fenrir already placed a ward in the top rune. And he's gonna be an aggressive trident most likely with an Elder Titan who's gonna face this uh, Wisp Bristleback. So 
aggressive trident against a slark, which is uh, pretty good. He's gonna have a really hard time. He's gonna have the sleep into arrow. Very easy setup. It's gonna be pretty difficult for the slark to find anything, but if there's anything we've learned from uh, all the Wisp Bristleback games we've seen, it's like if March and Raisin get to a good start, they can take over the game anyway, make so much space for everybody else. But it's gonna be a ton of damage. Like they have four range hero, Arrow Titan, the only melee, Arrow TK on the top lane, black, middle, gonna face off the Night Stalker, Kyo, he's gonna handle it. And Night Stalker uh, received a pretty pretty nice buff uh, this uh, patch, which uh, is probably what triggered the Korean teams to value him that much lately. Uh, since then, uh, Darker doesn't pause the night's day timer anymore, so oh, wait a hold on a second. Like March already been pretty aggressive on RTK, but it's another Titan. He takes so much damage, he can turn around maybe. He's gonna take the risks. No. Just letting Raisin take some damage and now Fenrir is in trouble. And Fair is gonna die. What what is going on? This is actually pretty awkward. This is is there some technical issues or something? This is very uncharacteristic. There has to be some problem. That was awkward. Yeah. Combo sleep into arrow and uh, there's no leap for him, so easy kill. And look at the damage with the aura from the drow. One one, the score. Kyo is good. Kyo. Yeah, Fire is on the slug actually. <laughs> I'm so used to see Q on the slug that but anyway, yeah, Night Stalker, last patch. Darkness does not stop the timer the day and night, so... Basically, all it means is that you have to use it during daytime only. During nighttime, it's pretty useless. And, uh... Arrow TK is gonna get that, and this is, this is what happens every single time MVP Phoenix peaks this. They just dives you whenever they get, like, level 3. Level, you just got it now. He's got level 2 when he has Nasal Goo and Quills is just enough. And I can just keep doing this over and over again. RTK is not gonna be able to stay there. Even with Skyra, it's so squishy, so he cannot really... Oh, what a misplay. I don't think they have what it takes to, to take down forever. Does he have a leap? Actually, he doesn't have a leap. And meanwhile, the top rune, Fenry, is getting caught by Raisin March and Kyo, so revenge kill in there. Forever having a really hard time. Same uh, for Heen. He got his level 2 at least. So he's able to deward uh, whenever he wants to. And they can, might get the FY, but Forev get, uh, gets arrowed. There's no man on FY though, so he's gonna go down. But at the price of Forev too. No pounce for him. He's gonna try to uh, juke his way. He might be able to. Dark packed. Maybe he can get it. Yes, he can. Double. For MVP finish the bottom lane. They're taking some momentum back in their favor on Forev's. Lane and he looks relieved. Like, oh, if he died there, it would have been uh, really stressful for him. And uh, Erotic has to be careful. He has three stacks already, quills of him on him. So, and just just dies again. FY, they're not. Re they're really not letting them uh, have any breathing room on the bottom lane. So much pressure. It's not the strongest dual lane too, must say, especially to deal with the. Uh, a Bane Rana. That's the aura also from the uh, from Black, helping them out. And uh, Black, oh, like level five, working towards his level six. March has his first level with Bristol Black, so he's gonna be harder to bring down. And uh, this is a uh, still, this is the kind of a. Uh, Scenario that MVP likes to get themselves into when they run this combo. Black though is having a great time mid. Mm. No pressure whatsoever on him because uh, both side lanes have been fighting a lot, so they don't have time to deal with mid. And Q has been diving a little bit for Black, but has to be careful. He has his bottle. He's gonna tango up. It's night time. If he gets sli slipped, then he has to be careful. There's a haste on FY. It seems, yeah. He's gonna chase him down, but they need more. 
FY needs more, and they're too busy top with March and, uh, and Raisin, but March has to be careful. Is it gonna be a turn? No, is just gonna go down. And they're also gonna get Kyo with a TP from I side side, so this is not what they wanna uh, want happening on the first night. Nice Talker really needs to make a lot happen in the first night. Not forever, like, miss the pants on a uh, black. Gonna have to use the second one to get away, and uh, Vichy dealing with this pretty well. Marsh overextending top, to be honest. They're gonna go again. They're gonna punish this. Like, alright, if I die, I'm just gonna come back full mana, full HP, and I'm just gonna go at you again if you stay here. And they're gonna get Fenrir without much problems. Yeah, easy kill. It's like le it's uh, level five for Bristol back. He in level four now. Walking around, gonna try to deward some. Didn't find anything yet. Only top, and they're gonna get black. Very easy kill. And they could even get more if uh, they're not careful. Like FY, this Murana, I believe, tipping too. They need the Murana, otherwise they cannot go for another kill. And I, I'm. I don't know, it's actually Fenrir. And he's just gonna sacrifice himself. The Q is still gonna die, maybe? No, he's bottling up. He's gonna be okay, actually. Oh, Barry survives. Can he get another one? No. He's gonna get away. Heen too gets away. So, pretty good save from Heen. Here he is. March on his way to his mech. Uh, Usually the timing they get uh, on this mech when they run this is usually around the 10 minute mark. You usually see March with power treads, a mech, and they're ready to keep going like balls deep all game long. They need Q though to have a better game. He got, they got a kill on the, the dr on black, so they made some happen, but Forever getting caught here. Are they gonna try to dive? I don't think so. For I've still not level, only level 4, so it's a pretty difficult game for him. And uh, they're gonna run RTK. March is really fast, he's gonna be able to catch him. And uh, he doesn't need much. Just in one net, one, one nasal gooey, maybe he's gonna be able to get him. And no, so much damage on him. Yeah, the man, yeah, a little bit too ambitious again. Black just gonna easy rotation to the jungle and clean him up. And uh, they wanna ride the momentum, and now they're starting to lose it. March really want to focus on uh, get his, getting his uh, his items for the by the 10 minute mark so they can just keep going with the mech would be especially with the wisp on your team makes so much makes it so much more scary to face. Blacksy farming it up triple wraith ban. Allows uh, his aura to do even more for his team. And uh, first night ends, not much success, uh, not much value from this uh, Night Stalker. And this is the fourth time this weekend we've seen Night Stalker really falling short, at least uh, in this, uh, it seems so. Maybe he's gonna catch up later. This is the thing about Night Stalker in this patch is that I feel, I feel like he's a much better late game than he was before. Since uh, you have a much, much bigger uptime on the, the night. Very, very little downtime now. Uh, and uh, also buff to the attack speed and uh, his mana cost, etc. So it makes him more potent. March, I'll put some pressure here with the Raisin. They don't have, they're only level 4 on the race. March, he's level 6, I think. And uh, Eric is not TP. He doesn't want to have anything to do with that. Meanwhile, bottom, Scarath, the Trident, is there. Q has to pop Darkness just to live from the Drow. That's uh, that's unfortunate. And now, this is going to get the D-Word maybe. Okay, nice. Dark packs, but they're going to get Heen instead. Uh, miscommunication. And they're going to get for F2, it seems. Does he have a pounce? Yes, he has a pounce, but he can ATP in time. Yes, he can. Earn on kill. I need to pop darkness even just just farm in that lane. Like, just like look at the damage Black is doing and 
Nice stalkers here, that's one of the highest armor for strength here in the game. And tier one bottom already goes down, thanks to the uh, draw ranger. A lot of damage to his team. Raisin gonna stack this. This is one of the things that the uh, MVP, uh, MVP when they run Bristolback can uh, fall back onto if the laning phase is, doesn't go like they don't snowball too hard. They can just always rely, go back and stack the ancients, clean it up with the Bristolback and the Wisp together, and that's what they're gonna do now. And they have the mag. Ten minutes, treads mag. This is always what happens, no matter what happens, no matter what they get in the laning phase. They have the really good game. They get it even earlier. Again, when they get some kills, die some. They get still get at ten minutes, which is a really good timing. And uh, now they should be able to just pop up the aggression at the twelve minute mark when uh, the second knight comes up for Kyo. Might have his second level in uh, darkness too, so it's gonna be a pretty long night uh, coming up. And they gotta go. This Moon Knight Shadow to go to the Roshan. Didi on black. Actually, a pretty. Should be a bit careful though. Maybe MVP can sniff it out, although it's pretty difficult to uh, see it coming. Oh, well, you can see that the Skyrath is mid, but it's too late. Aegis, I'll go to black. And again, Eurotica just teeping away. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, uh, quite decent farm. Not gonna get caught. Oh, can he get stop the TP? Yes, he can. So it's. It is. Might be a kill. Oh, nice, nice, nice. For kill. No, for juice. Yeah, he gets it. Really good kill. Who's a little bit out there. But yeah, Vichy is just gonna respond with a tier one push mid. And they have the relocate ready, so they can come in at any time. If they initiate on anybody, they're just gonna relocate in the middle of the fight with the mech. Although there is a Finn's grip on a FY, so they have to be careful. It's like having a really hard time. He has nothing at this point. He has some boots. He misses the pounds. So has his uh, solo dance. Are they gonna get the stomp? Yes, they will, but it's Bristol back. He's showing his back, so. No problem there, he's not gonna die. And his keep is just gonna go. Black is solo HP and Q is gonna pop the Aegis. Casually. Marsh getting, oh my god. Finn's grip again, like in the middle, right in under the tower, so. And they have to be careful about this and not overcommit. And uh, he's gonna buy back. Raisin, gonna go down though, and this is a big part of the team fight. FY gonna go down to. Did he? Did he deny himself? I think he denied himself, so. It's gonna be Eurotika going down three, go down for uh, Vichy Gaming, maybe. Okay, Q finally uh, finishes up and Isasa may be able to. No, he's not. So it's four down. Buyback, well worth it from March. They lose three, but get, they get four. Right? Yeah, they lose four actually, technically. So even trade, but uh, buyback from March. They're gonna at least get the tier one. If they get the tier one, then uh, pretty even trade. They gotta go on FY actually, they want more. They're gonna get it with the. Oh, they're gonna get both. With the Juice Ultimate and uh, Black almost CP to his death. Luckily, he stopped cancelling in time and they're gonna get the tier 1 on top of that. So now, definitely in favor of MVP. And it's already 1500 gold on Marsh, he's gonna get his Vitality Booster. And actually, no, he almost has his Vanguard, That's which is what he's gonna go for next. Get the Vitality Booster and six, 60 gold away from uh, his full Vanguard. Crimson Guard, gonna be obviously very good against uh, a draw lineup. There's a draw Mirana. Gonna do a lot. Stack some armor too on top of that afterwards. Probably maybe a Blade Mail or a uh, Assault Curious. Yeah, they want to go for a smoke, get some uh, counter aggression, get some kills going. Like it's night time, only two minutes into the night, so there's only two more minutes left. And uh, Kyo is gonna be in trouble. They all blew everything on him. Relocate didn't come in time, but they still Marsh is still there, and this is the big boy that they have to deal with. And uh, he's still gonna go down though. 
Yeah, this is four, three for nothing. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> that was some. <laughs> that was the sickest terror I've ever seen. Fredo is really, really poor. He's under leveled, under farmed. But again, I, I don't think they mind too much. Bristleback bought his items. I, I don't know if he managed to finish his uh, Vanguard before he died. It would be a pretty big deal. Because they, they need to have a pretty good timing. Knight is going to end in 30 seconds. So they wanna, if they can get a kill before the Knight's end, it's going to be pretty pretty good for them. Make the most out of this. And the March wants some. He's going to TP and... The, I, Zeus can, yes he can, he stops it and uh, Mars gets arrowed but it's too late, they're gonna go for uh, try to catch Ice 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 maybe, yeah, Forever finds him, he has a pass in one second, he misses it! Can he get him with the dog pack? No, he cannot! One second, pounce and he's gonna get it, okay. Meanwhile, there's a fight in the jungle and Fenrir goes down too, so... Three for Neil here, as a revenge, and they're gonna maybe get Ertika, no, Ertika again, he's got TP. No way to stop that, so. And now, MVP things looking much, much better than the last game where they got completely stomped, but this game, they're stepping it up, they're showing, hey, we can, there's some, our Bristleback Wisp, it's not that easy to deal with. This. And uh, they're doing well now, but they gotta keep it up. It's not, Avicii has a pretty solid lineup. A lot of a lot of disables, uh, magical burst, physical damage. You gotta keep going. Now it's gonna be daytime though, so it's gonna be some of a downtime for uh, MVP, where they cannot be as aggressive. Darkness comes back in uh, 15 seconds, so they can make use of it any any time. Whenever it's uh, ready, they can go for a fight. And there's a oh nice, he managed to. Uh, I'll pack that, but it doesn't matter since he didn't have mana for the for the leap because of the mana drain by the Finn's grip. So a little bit unfortunate for uh, for Ev, for Ev having a horrible, horrible game. Like 24 CS at 17 minutes, even the Zeus almost matching him. And Ortica is gonna get relocated on, and uh, FY gonna try to save him, maybe with a deny. Yeah, a sleep, and uh, Raisin gets him with the spirits. And maybe they can get a return kill. There's no Fiend's Grip, they need an arrow for this. They're not gonna be able to go for this. They gotta come back here, so this is when they're waiting for them, and uh, Raisin's gonna go down so quickly. March getting burst down, but he's doing so much damage. The black is gonna might die. Yeah, he's gonna die. Ice, ice, ice. He's gonna die too, and Fenrir is gonna fall right after. This is a disaster for Vichy Gaming now, four down. MVP. That Bristleback just doesn't die. They really need the Fiend's Grip to be able to burst him down so that they can burst him from uh, from the front, not on his back. When he can give his back, move freely. This is so hard to bring down. And they're gonna catch FY. FY uh, pretty dead. And it's his five dead in the, f in the 20 second span so that darkness doing a lot one darkness for five kills they made the most out of it and uh pressuring the tier two at the same time 40 percent health march is pushing out the lane putting some pressure and uh, he's just gonna go back by his crimson guard and uh yeah 18 19 minutes in crimson guard treads mech 500 golds Probably gonna go for some uh, either magic resistance or some um, armor next, or maybe a Sanjin Yasha, which uh, he usually likes to go when they're snowballing like this. It's a very good uh, snowball item, so I would not be surprised to see two ma March picking it up. Ice, 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 having a decent farm still. As it treads, Aquila drums. Almost a Mitchell Hammer for his uh, Maelstrom, which he's gonna go probably get next. And uh, meanwhile, Black is in trouble. I don't think there's any way out of this. F has to be here to try to bait him out, but he's not gonna be here on time. And Isasa is gonna try to get an arrow, but 
He's just not gonna catch anybody in forever. He's gonna have to use Shadow Dance. Maybe Blind Knight. No, can, can he juke? No, he's gonna die. And another Darkness. BKB for a Q also. They can definitely for a big, big timing with the BKB on Q. The only thing that is gonna stop him is uh, is the Finn's grip. And if you don't use Finn's grip on March, well, you're not gonna kill him. And if you use it on Q, then March is gonna kill everybody. And Isasas is gonna go down here. Easy kill. Heen might be in trouble, but he's gonna fight. Get some as much damage as he can. And this is BKB, so he's gonna turn and they have to Finn's grip him. But do they have more support? They need more. They're all, they're gonna die. Hey, Samson, FY, FY is dead, and Fenrir might be next. He's gonna pop. Meanwhile, Marsh is getting the tier two bottom with the uh, with Raisin ready to relocate if needed. RTK is top. They're not gonna go get, go get him though. March. Uh, probably have a he's a sand coming in, coming out from the from the base. Slarker trying to catch up, only level eleven. Probably going for a, a shadow blade at this point. Cleans up a small small uh, Vichy gaming uh, ancient stack. So even more economical damage dealt. And Black uh, is going to have a lot of trouble. This is a very difficult liner to play against as a draw ranger. They have so much mobility that you can just drop on top of you. You don't do that much. And Fenrir is going to go down pretty easily here. Again, this darkness. The Knights might uh, is going to end soon, though, in uh, 15 seconds. So they're going to uh, get kills now and quickly because there's no darkness. Well, actually, never mind. Scratch that. There's darkness now. From Q, he's gonna allow them to. Well, they're gonna run away anyway. They're gonna have to get the try to get the rush. It's gonna be pretty quick with uh, Raisin healing everybody and uh, Bristleback minus armor and his uh, huge DPS. I don't know. Actually, he's gonna go for the Astral Pierce first, which is uh, also a very, very good item, especially against the Draw Ranger. If you stack armor, she cannot. Not gonna be able to do much, especially when she's behind like this. Black again, a red on top of him, and he's dead. And they're gonna keep going, it's gonna be a tier 2 mid. Might be a high ground attempt, they have the Aegis, so why not? Although Darkness might is gonna run out pretty soon and they're gonna have to wait for the next night to really push the issue. They've got on the a tier two top remaining though. Q has to be careful. He still has BKB. He's really in trouble, but if he gets arrowed here, okay. March knows he can take it, so he's gonna take it. Meanwhile, Forev fighting with Ice 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 on the top lane. He's gonna be able to get him. Oh my god, the, the pass almost enough damage to get the kill. Barely escapes. MVP. Got the Shadow Blade on forever now. With the Juice on the team, it's actually a pretty decent pickup because the Juice can just clean up the Sentry Wards for free whenever they get up with five. Although he just probably just wants something that because blink if he blinks in does not do enough damage like it doesn't it's not gonna help him much. He needs some damage or at least be able to contribute. This is that a courier dying to creep? What the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? All right. They're gonna go, they have the Aegis, so they're gonna go for the Choo Choo push top. Last tower standing for Vichy Gaming outside of their base. They got a Nico stop on nobody and a relocate on top of uh, FY. But Moonlight Shadow comes up and there is no detection, so.
They're just gonna wait it out. And that's a big cooldown from uh, Vici that's already blown up. Forever though might get caught, but no, he gets the dark packs in time and he runs away. Finn's grip plus Mystic Flare used for nothing. So this is definitely gonna be a high ground attempt from uh, MVP Phoenix and FY gonna die. BKB, no thing to stop him because no Finn's grip and uh, Q could be diving, but uh, he has Aegis. He's not. He's not gonna throw. He's gonna play safe. Easy choo choo for uh, MVP Phoenix. You could even. The problem is like it's daytime, yeah. Daytime, and it's gonna be daytime for another uh, two, two minutes and a half. They have to wait the 28 minute mark to be able to keep pushing. This, this is the only thing they're gonna be waiting for. Farm up until 20, 20, 28 minute mark and then keep going. No reason to really wait for anything, anything else. Dry Ranger is not gonna be able to farm. Uh, any significant items. She finishes her Mantis style, but what is it gonna do? It got buffed though in the last patch. Uh, Draw Ranger's uh, marksmanship working on the illusions, which it was not before, so it makes the illusions much, much stronger on, on Draw Ranger. Have to see how much how much damage it can do. Well, she does a lot of damage, but there's a bristle back, they stack in armor now, they have a wisp helping them just uh, sustain all the damage. Frav might kinda catch Ice Ice Ice. Nope. Frav still have Shadow Dance, so he's gonna be okay. And a heart on Q. He is not gonna die. All he needs now is armor. If he gets. I mean, I don't know what item he could get. Maybe Vlad's for his team and himself, because since uh, Bristleback is already getting AC, it's gonna be some armor for him. But he already has very high uh, base armor, so a heart makes him so incredibly tanky, especially when the enemy team doesn't have that much farm and that much physical damage. MVP Phoenix. 45 seconds until they go for the death push. Maybe they're gonna just use darkness and go for it. Yeah, that's what they're gonna do. And this is now it's when it starts, black. I'll have to use his uh, Manta to dodge this, but Q is even gonna go down from this. He's gonna get relocated away and uh, he's fine. He still has his BKB, he's gonna pop it. Mech, Crimson Guard, everything used, and they can just dive the base. They don't have detection though. They have to be careful. Raisin has his relocate though, he's gonna get back. Ah, oh, he still dies. March. Is it death later on Asa's side? They have to be careful. Q, is he gonna. Oh no, 4F comes in. He's gonna be able maybe to kill up Ice Ice Ice? No! And it's gonna be like four dead, maybe five! Vichy Gaming, they're holding! MVP got a little bit too over eager here. Instead of just uh, hitting the tower and uh, waiting for the right time to go, but Kyo so tanky, so far, he's just gonna man fight. Get, he's, he's just gonna go run away and ah, he's gonna get him! Double kill for ROTK. Using his Midas. Pretty happy about his payday. MVP Phoenix has to be careful. They should not throw this game. Although they're still in a good position. They still have... Uh, they're gonna have maybe... Another... Another three minutes of nights once uh, Night Stalker is back on. Two minutes and a half, which is uh, not that much, so you're gonna have to use darkness maybe at, at the end of this one, this night to keep going. Darkness is a pretty low cooldown now, only 20 seconds uh, downtime. Mirana, I saw size actually didn't go for the maelstrom, went for this or later, which. Uh, in which respect against uh, against uh, Wisp, against uh, Strength Heroes and its use. Pretty good choice, he's gonna also boost uh, Black's damage. Also on top of the minus armor that uh, Elder Titan provides. Frev, gotta go, it went back for some, for drums. 
get something. Uh, he just wants to get some items. Like right now, not going for the late game. They want to end it pretty soon. Probably with the next night and darkness. So ice, ice, ice. He's gonna get. You gotta find him with the. Well, but he took the iron in the face. He has a use, so he's gonna be able to live through this. And uh, ice, ice, ice. Gonna go down. And black, if black goes down too here, that's gonna be big. He's gonna have to buy back if he has it. FY is gonna go down too. And it's his uh, spiral out of control. Four dead all of a sudden, all over the map. Ice, 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 bottom the rest mid, and this is GG. 1-1, one, one, MVP Phoenix ties the series against Vichy Gaming here. In Seoul. For I was like, I had a shit game, but next time I'm gonna do better and we're gonna take the series against Vichy Gaming. Can they do it? They still have one more map to go. I'm expecting again, as it happens every single time MVP Phoenix picks this uh, with Bristol back. Next game is gonna be banned, first ban. So we have to see if uh, they end up giving the respect it's due to the, the strategy. Until then, taking a small break, I'll be back with the last game of the day.